across they stay that way. So that was Julian with our news and now we've got a Francesca Danuccio for all things sport. Fran, what's been happening? Look, a lot's been happening, Cam, but first of all, I want to say that elderly man, I think we all know where he was going. He was going to Nando's to get that last chicken. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Either that or Aldi <laughs> to get the last packet of Scotch Fingers. Yeah, yeah I'm absolutely. sure of it. <laughs> to sport now though, WA has officially put forward a proposal to host the AFL Premiership Decider. With Melbourne in lockdown until at least September, Optus Stadium is now considered the front runner. There are talks of a grand final parade through Perth CBD as well as a grand final live site at Yagan Square with food, entertainment and activities. Now, WA has already demonstrated with the Dreamtime clash earlier this season that we can sell out the stadium even though we don't have a home final. So guys, I think we are more than capable of selling out a crowd at WA. What are you guys' thoughts on this? Do we think it's time that little old Perth finally hosts the Golden Grand Final. I completely agree, Fran. I think it's definitely our time. We've definitely waited a very long time for this, and why not? Yeah, look, I can't say I'm a member, so I don't know if I'll get a ticket, but I'll definitely be, you know, down at Yagan Square watching it live, enjoying the food trucks and the vibe and the atmosphere. I think it's time. We've hosted a lot of big events. Why not? Why not the final? I agree. For sure. And, you know, the state government was also saying things like it'll bring a huge economic boost too. They're hoping that people from regional WA, if we do host it in Perth, will actually come down to Perth or come up to Perth for the game and actually book those hotels, which are suffering during the pandemic too. So, And that's the thing. Come and see the city. That's come and it. watch the footy and come, come and see and the see city. Come and see good old Perth. Cricket Australia has announced the team for the upcoming ICC Men's T20 World Cup. Aaron Finch will return from knee surgery to captain the side, with Justin Langer expected to continue to coach despite speculation around his position. WA's Ashton Agar, Josh Inglis, Mitch March and Marcus Stoinis have also been selected. The seventh World Cup will be hosted in the United Arab Emirates, with the first ball bowled in October. West Coast Fever will take on the Giants in Saturday's Super Netball preliminary final. The Fever are one win away from playing their third grand final in four seasons after defeating Sunshine Coast Lightning 75 to 76. Midcourt Fever star Verity Charles was a standout with 30 goal assists and 50 feeds. The team are yet to lose a final quarter this season, winning the term 21 to 15, ensuring their sweet victory. The winner of this weekend's prelim will take on the New South Wales Swifts in the 2020. 21 grand final. Ash Barty is back in winning form, taking out her first round match at the Cincinnati Open. She defeated British qualifier Heather Watson in straight sets after a gruelling tiebreaker. It was her first tour match since winning Wimbledon over five weeks ago and first since the Olympics. Barty is looking to make it two grand slams for the year as she leads up to the US Open. And guys, that's all in sport. That's great. Thank you so much for that sport update, Fran. Now, 